Brian has brought something out here. It looks like he wanted to, to pursue the Spanish uh, Spanish song. Should oh, okay. we uh, swap instruments and? You okay with that? Yeah. Oh, we have to go into alternate alternate seating mode, huh? I mean, as far as the the, the brace. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, we don't need to put down the spot. You don't have no, to do this. Fine. Okay? Fine. All right. Yeah. yeah, this is the one that's still in the composition process, so I'll be improvising parts of it as we go. Oh, yeah. actually, let me ask a question about the yeah. last one about a fine pickle along yeah. those ways, because mm -hmm. that is only how old? When did you start working on that? Uh, it's a few weeks ago now. Yeah. So uh, maybe a, a good month. And did you find, um, how much did you have to practice it? It, it, once you've kind of finished it in your head? Uh, well, let's see, it, it took a, a little, you know, some day, days in, in the composition process. Mm -hmm. And um, so, I, you know, I started playing it right away for, for people, I mean, just a couple days after mm -hmm. I wrote it. Um, but, uh, you know, I, th I think it's still uh, kind of settling now. Mm -hmm. So I, I generally, bring things out and play them long before they're ready. Like this right. one, I haven't even finished writing. I'm right. playing for you right now. Um, and they start to evolve. You know, yeah. I'm, and I find if if I don't start playing them and, and letting them move for a while, um, they don't um, get completely composed. You know, so, right. Uh, so I bring them out before they're ready yeah. and let them evolve it in, in process. I'm sure you some... Um, as you play it, all of a sudden things pop into your head. It's like, oh, that part, you that know, part I didn't exactly hear that that's what, how, that, how it was going to come out. And now if I bring this note out a little bit more or something, yeah. it's like you found, uh, discovered a new little nugget part of it or something. Right. You know, and that's, uh, yeah, it's really okay. cool how, how pieces evolve. Yeah. Okay, so this one's called what? Uh, this one uh, doesn't or, have oh, a name okay, yet. Oh, okay, right, right, but, right. Still uh, under construction. Yeah, but I think I might call it the Matador. That yeah. paints a good picture right off the bat.
some ideas as I was playing. I think, well, maybe next maybe time I'll, yeah, I'll go down uh, a little quieter in volume. It needs more uh, change in volume. So I think in the middle section, maybe next time I'll bring it up. And then maybe I'll throw in a, a part of something. Mm -hmm. So something that's with a little, uh, almost a tremolo-like effect to it. Mm -hmm. So I can work that in. Yeah. yeah, you can obviously create a lot of different moods through it and turn it into a whole little sweet kind of thing or something. Yeah. Too, yeah. like that. But um, yeah, I, I, one of the longest pieces I, what's it called, Highway Robbery was a piece I put together. It's, a, it's like 10 minutes long and it, it really is like three or four separate pieces and at one point it gets down. And as I was writing it, I mean, it starts with some really exciting stuff, and then it's, then it gets really mellow and quiet. It gets a little bluesy in a spot. And as I was um, putting it together, I could hear that the next thing that had to happen was like this tremolo part, right? Oh. And I'm thinking, oh man, I am not in tremolo shape. I don't want to get in tremolo shape, you know. It's but you like, have to do it. But it's yeah, and the and the piece had to it had to have that part in it, you know. So it's um, so I worked and worked and worked on it and got it as, as you know got it acceptable I guess in, in my own head is like okay I can play that well enough now to, to record the piece and uh, and I remember when I recorded it I thought I'm never playing this thing again it, you know <laughs> it was just brutal and so I but I did perform it once live and luckily I have a video of that too so that, that's when I knew it, it was over it's like okay I got the video got the audio <laughs> I will never play this again well you know some songs you learn just for the process and you you know go through them for the process and then then they go by and you start on something new so you don't have to keep everything in your repertoire yeah 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 I had an interesting conversation uh, the first time I met John Renborn and uh, it was some somebody asked him if he would play some songs for he was doing a workshop for us at that uh, the guitar gallery in about 1998 and uh, somebody said are you are hey could you play something from the hermit you know which was one of what I think is like one of the greatest guitar albums of all time and uh, and he says oh he says no and he says that stuff that's all so, so high maintenance stuff it's you know he can't he said I haven't played any of that stuff in since the 70s you know so he's got his or Unfortunately, we lost him earlier this year, but uh, you know, he's had his stuff of um, the songs he keeps in shape, and then the songs he think, yeah, I'm just gonna let that one go, you know? mm -hmm. but uh, that was uh, the way it goes. The, um, I have one more thing I was gonna ask you about. Oh, because, because somebody else listening to that would say, well, that sounds finished. It sounds like you've got enough there. You know, it's like... Um, well, it's, you can tell when it's finished when uh, I, uh, I play it through and there's nothing that I wanna change about it. I say, okay, each note is perfectly in its spot. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, there can't be a better note or a better sound at this point. And, and when I feel that, yeah. and I know it's finished. But uh, some songs, you know, don't finish themselves, you know, for years. Right. And other songs, they're done in two hours. Yeah. You know, so, and uh, I think that's something that I learned from uh, working with Tierra Negra. Uh, that a lot of my songs used to be pretty complex, pretty complex compositions. And uh, their music, I just loved it, just grabbed my heart. And some of those songs were pretty simple. They just said one thing and mm -hmm. then just stayed there and just said that thing again with a little different inflection. And so a tune like View From Space, I play for you, that's a fairly simple construction. It just says one thing. It does it in harmonics, then it does it uh, you know, in regular notes, then it goes back and says it again in harmonics. Mm -hmm. And so it taught me to be content with a song that wanted to just say that. Yeah. And other ones like this, this wants to say a lot of things. Right. And so the songs will dictate how they want to compose themselves. Yeah. Yeah. It always is a great feeling when you, when you feel it. Like, okay, it's finished. It's you know, I'm, I'm done. You know, <laughs> well, usually when I write songs, I haven't done many. Oh, I've done actually quite a few, I guess, recently. But they're. Um, they're relatively a short period of time. It's usually just a, a couple of days because when I'm when I can get into that mode, the composing mode, it it it's like I'm possessed. You know, it's mm -hmm. like nothing. I don't sleep. I don't you know. <laughs> I, I don't I don't do the laundry. I don't do the dishes. You know, it's like it's it's and I have trouble having conversations with people because it's like I'm so you know it, it feels like you get into a gear sometimes. Um, great. It's really cool, you know, it's and team. it's just not good for the people around me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, Dad, <laughs> you know, or he's, he's he's zoned out again, you know, or something. But uh, um, and even with something like similar like this one, you know, as you play it more, you might find parts in there that you're doing. You say, you know what, I'm I'm, I'm not sure about that part, or it, it you know, that yeah. it. Uh, you can also let a song go for a while and then come back to it and think, 
oh, you know, maybe I could change this. And so even a song that you thought was finished later, you can uh, improve upon it later if, if you have some new ideas on it. Yeah, yeah. I had a, a, a piece, short little piece, I had like 16 measures or something this many years ago that was I, um, that had cool little, it had a particular feel to it. And and I, I just couldn't find anything to do with it. And I, so I like gave it up. And, and then six months, maybe a year later, I started, uh, an, a, another one came along that as I'm playing this, I think, ah, oh, this is pretty similar to that, that thing I was messing with a year ago. So I can't really keep, I, I can't have these two songs. And I thought, oh, wait, they can just be the same song. I can bring that other part in as the, you know, so the middle part, so I ended up calling it a little jolt because it kept, keeps changing keys, um, but, but it has this constant rhythmic feel throughout it. But it was one of the few that I have that was written in parts like a year apart, you know? Um, and uh, I was glad to be able to, I felt it was, I was able to recycle stuff I had thrown away, you know, and it, it came in handy there. So, right. Yeah. Well, we should, we're supposed to catch a train sometime in the next few hours. <laughs> and unfortunately, I have to call this. Do you want to play anything else uh, to play us out of here? Or do you, uh, uh, oh, sure. um, you got one more short tune or long tune? I mean, uh, are we running out of batteries on any of these things, by the way? <laughs> the camera's okay? Well, since we've been talking about composing and songs that are halfway done, <laughs> And I can play you out with with another one that's in that's in process. Okay. And see uh, see where see where it goes today. Um, so this is uh, it has elements of a Polish waltz. It has little Spanish elements in there, and so uh, I just call this one the immigrant. <laughs> Close to finish, huh? Well, this one's closer to finish. <laughs> I was saying yeah. that is. It's, uh, uh, I left out the repeat, so I repeat the first section with some slight variations, 
And when I have it decided that it's finished, I'll, I'll post it on my website uh, as a PDF and tablature. Oh, nice. So I have uh, most of my music and compositions, so you can just download it. So mm -hmm. uh, MurielAnderson.com and the, uh, the shop. And, and then, uh, Learn to play some of your tunes. Yeah. So. I'm really glad. In um, the descending chromatic minor thing that you ended this with, mm -hmm. um, you hinted at it earlier. You did it one time earlier yes, in the song. Yes, I did it different. Than and, and, yeah. Yeah. yeah and that, so I'm going back and forth between the bass, but right. this is going down. Right. Half step, and this time, I do it here. Yeah. When I heard the first one in there, I'm thinking, oh, man, you, need, you need to do that more in there, you know? And I'm really glad you ended with it because yes. it was, that was. Uh, well. And it actually happens one more time in the, uh, the variation the second time through that I left out just That's okay. For that, the that's sake of time that's great today. though because that, uh, yeah, that, that really, uh, and a great finishing touch is, uh, you know, I guess that's what I'm saying with that, you know, once, you, once, you, once I heard it earlier. Uh, you know, anyways, so that's really cool. Well, um, thanks for taking the time and, and, you know, being out here. Early, because it's beautiful. I sit this, I, I could actually sit here all day, but <laughs> we don't need to invite the public in on that. That's you right. know? So, um, but well, it's been, I hope you can come back and visit again. Yes. I, I think it's going to become a high priority if, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if uh, yeah, right. if I could make every, if I could take a summer vacation every year, that would be great. We actually um, are. This is part of uh, you know my wife and I is uh, sort of celebrating our 30th anniversary, and so that's 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 why we. Partly why we made this trip, but uh, I guess I should tell people too that uh, up until like a week ago, we had no idea this was going to happen. So we didn't even plan this till what's today, Sunday, Monday, last Monday. Muriel mm -hmm. called me, and we just kind of were, were making plans for her uh, uh, her California trip. And just on a whim, as we were hanging up, I said, "Hey, are you home? Hanging out and you know being relaxing?" And she says, "No, as a matter of fact, I'm on Long Island, and you know, but I am relaxing." And, and uh, I said, "Wow, tomorrow we're flying out there." And she was gracious and wonderful enough to oh, say to totally. just invite us to come hang out here, and we canceled any other plans that we thought, <laughs> and said, "Well, let's see, the Empire State Building or the beach with Muriel." Um, <laughs> well, I have that to was thank, a no-brainer, and thank Brian, Brian, Brian yes. for inviting both both of us out. Yeah. So, yeah. so our so. wonderful host, would you like yes. to show your face on camera, young man? <laughs> come. <clears throat> Yes, yeah, so our cameraman for today. Yeah, behind our, our, the camera, our, our audio engineer. Yes, but uh, yeah. really want to thank you guys. I mean, this is and uh, okay. I should stop talking. I'm getting blabbing, you know, blithering and, and things. But uh, yeah, this is our, our wonderful host, Brian. Yes. Captain. Yeah, and See Captain. Captain right Anytime and congratulations on the thirtieth. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Well, um, I think uh, we would definitely like to make this a. Another another time, so maybe it's next summer we can get out here again. Yeah, too. Or, or stop by Nashville. Yeah. I've thought about that all the time. It's just never been able to, you know, never never been it, part of the cards. You know? yeah. But uh, yeah. Well, thank you two again so much, and I uh, look forward to more time together in a couple of weeks. Okay. okay. See you in California. That's it. <laughs>